and welcome to the University of Tennessee. My name is Dr. Hannah Herrero and I'm a professor in the Department of Geography. I'm here today in the Great Smoky Mountains National Park just outside of Knoxville. Geology rocks, but geography is where it's at. Simply put, geography is the study of space and place of any phenomenon that you can think of. That's what I love most about geography. You can study anything from a geographic perspective. Name a topic and there's a geographer who's studying it. Whether you're interested in mountains or rivers, animals or vegetation, technology or medicine, culture and race, or feminism and Marxism, or you're just interested in knowing all of those things about a particular region of the world, then there's a place for you at UTK Geography. Okay, so you got a degree in geography, but can you get a job? Yes. One of the hottest fields in geography in the last decade is that of Geographic Information Science, or GIS. This is a large umbrella that covers thinking about geospatial technology and the ways that we can recognize patterns uh, and relationships in the world via different types of data management, analysis, and mapping. This is the broad umbrella that I also fall under. Here at the University of Tennessee, we have a very re unique relationship with the Oak Ridge National Laboratory where world-class geographic research occurs daily. And our students have a more direct line to apply to work with faculty there. There are thousands of highly paid uh, jobs that go unfilled in the United States each year in GIS because the demand is so high and the ready workforce is relatively low. We have a lot of alumni connections with GIS across different industries, businesses, government, and NGOs. And all of those sectors also highly rely on all kinds of different geographers. Check out more job information at aag.org. As I mentioned, I fall under GIS. And in particular, I study a subdiscipline called remote sensing, which focuses on earth from above observations. So basically, I use satellite imagery similar to what you may have previously used on Google Earth to analyze different vegetation change over time and understand different management decisions impacts on the environment through human environment interactions. I study in particular savanna sciences or grasslands across protected areas such as national parks of southern Africa. However, this work is broadly applicable. One of the things I'm really passionate about is field work, and geography is a great place for that. When I was in high school, I went on a trip to Kenya, I was charged by a very large bull elephant, and I fell in love with Africa. And from then, I wanted to figure out how can I get back in the field. So when I went to university, and I was considering many different majors, I ended up deciding on geography because it studied the phenomenon I was really interested in, which were environmental concerns and management practices, from a variety of scales, from the micro all the way up to the global, giving us a more holistic perspective of each of those phenomena. So when I was an undergraduate in geography, I applied for an internship at the National Geographic Society in Washington, DC. And while I was there, I volunteered as a part of their live program, which brings in various geographic explorers and speakers from around the world. I met with some folks who are working on a conservation project in Gorongosa National Park in Mozambique and I was actually able to write and receive a grant to do an undergraduate research project there, looking at repeat photography over 72 years to understand how vegetation had changed in the park and why. From this, I went on to transition into more satellite imagery throughout grad school, still working in Africa, and then I came here last year. In our department, we have a variety of majors, minors, and concentrations, everything spanning from sustainability, climate and climate change, landscapes and environments, geospatial uh, technology and science, um, all the way through uh, world cities and economics and space, society, and culture. So we have the broad gamut of geographers in our department, which is really unique. We also offer a lot of different internships, such as the one I mentioned at the National Geographic Society. There are many at the National Geospatial Intelligence Agency, NASA, of course, NOAA, uh, the National uh, Weather Service, the Weather Channel, National Forest Service, USDA, CDC, and ESRI, which is a leading industry company in GIS, just to name a few. So there's lots of opportunities for internships and experiential learning. There's also a lot of opportunity for undergraduate research, which will definitely help to jumpstart your career no matter what direction you ultimately decide to take. After all, this is how I found out I wanted to be an academic. So our faculty every day are looking for students that want to bring new perspectives to our research. 
in addition, uh, we have a lot of opportunities for something that geographers love to do, which is traveling the world and immersing yourself in other cultures. We offer several study abroad programs, including one with a focus in sustainability in Germany and conservation in Africa. Please go to geography.utk.edu, follow us on social media at UTK Geography, or feel free to email me directly at hherrero at utk.edu for any questions that you may have. Find your place at UTK Geography. Have a wonderful fall and go Vols!